After a long winter, it's time to get started on growing some seeds. Now you'll notice this little box here. I like to store my seeds in a box that can be locked. It protects against rodents because I do tend to store some of my seeds in the basement. And uh, we live out in the country and we do get some mice in every now and then. So I like to have this plastic box. They won't chew through it. How successfully you'll be able to grow your seedlings depends on what shape the seeds are in. As I mentioned earlier, seed longevity is affected by the age of the seed. For example, if you look at this chart on vegetable seed viability, you will see that bean seeds are good for about three years, whereas beet seeds are good for four years. But if you wanted to grow leeks or corn or onions, you may want to use them pretty quickly because they're only good for about one year. Some of the ones that last the longer a uh, period of time would be cabbage, cauliflower, kohlrabi, you'll notice these are all in the cabbage family. They will last anywhere from three to five years. And these are assuming that we have these uh, seeds stored under ideal conditions. Now the ideal storage conditions for seed is to keep them dry and cool and preferably in a sealed container which will keep the humidity about the same. They should be kept at a temperature between 32 and 41 degrees Fahrenheit. That's ideal. So the bottom of your refrigerator is a really good place to keep them if you have the space. If you don't, you might want to put them in the coolest spot in your house, which is likely to be the basement. Places to avoid would be um, locations like your garage where you can have extreme summer and winter temperatures. Not to mention problems with rodents if you don't store your seeds properly. The things that you will need for a germination test include the seed, uh, sealable plastic bags, moist paper towels. You might even want to have a marker so that you can label it and the date that you start the seeds. And uh, what you do is count out about 10 seeds, put them on the moist paper towel, fold it over, and then put that inside of the plastic bag and seal it. Then place that on top of the refrigerator, and that's put up there because it, it usually gives off enough heat to keep it warm. You, you could also use a, a seed starting mat if you want, but you want to put it on a temperature of around 80 degrees if you can um, adjust the temperature. And then come back and check the seeds about every other day for two weeks, and then note how many of them have germinated. After 14 days, that will be about as many seeds as you're going to get. So if you have... 80%, 90% of the seeds germinating and they're growing rapidly, then you're in pretty good shape. But after that 14 days, you only have two or three germinating, then you may want to get some new seed. Now, that doesn't mean all the seed is bad. You can mix that old seed in with new seed, but it won't grow as vigorously as the new seed. But at least you won't waste it. And the ones that have germinated, if you don't want to waste those, if you have the proper conditions for starting the plants, then uh, you can pot those up and grow them out as transplants until you're ready to put them outside if they're the type of plant that needs to be grown from transplants. Also, if you uh, don't know exactly how to grow transplants at home, be sure and check out my series of videos on growing outstanding transplants. And uh, hopefully that'll be helpful for you. And uh, I will talk to you in the next video. This is Gary signing out.